There's something so pure and genuine about a dog. When you have a dog in your life, it teaches you to have compassion. They really understand us. If there's one negative thing about dogs, and there's only one, and that's that they don't live that long. Right after I graduated from college, I got my best friend. Jada is, she's just perfect. The first time that I saw her, she walks in really excited and she stares at me in the eyes and before actually approaching me, she just squats down. And I don't want to be too graphic, but it was loose. To me, it was like, oh, she's, you know, maybe not feeling well today. But then when I took her home, looked like she had a stomach ache again the next day. And the day after that, I couldn't figure it out. I was trying everything. It became my ultimate concern. A veterinarian recommended that I tried home cooking for her. And when I did, I just made the exact ingredients that were on the front of the bag, but I bought fresh ingredients, I cooked it myself. And when I fed it to her, the proof was there. She was just a different dog. It was unbelievable. And that was the moment that I realized the power of fresh food. And that set me on this journey of, what is dog food? Now, feed your dog rich and meaty. See a dry brown ball with little pieces sticking out of it. Need a robot. Pet food companies have spent billions of dollars advertising that these brown pellets are premium and natural health food for dogs. But that doesn't give up nutrition. But most people never realize, regardless of the words and pictures on the bag, pet food companies can use diseased meats and rotten vegetables, ingredients that couldn't legally go anywhere near our own food system. Doesn't that look delicious? And on top of that, the thing that I think makes it even worse is that when they make kibble at some of the temperatures that they do, it can create carcinogens known to cause cancer in animals. So the quality of the ingredients almost doesn't even matter because of the way that they process them. And they're eating this food every single day, every meal, for their entire lives. Wait, what? Eventually, when I came to the harsh realization that there just wasn't a brand out there for me to feed Jada, I decided to build one. I met Jonathan in 2014. I think I know a lot of dog people, but he is like a real dog person. Such a good boy. Buddy, maybe you can stay here for a bit. I'm sorry, what were you saying? I was spending a ton of time and money cooking for Jada, but he saw the transition in her. This food really worked. I'd think back to all the issues my dogs had growing up. We thought we were feeding them something healthy. But when I realized how processed kibble is, of course they're gonna suffer that way. It's sold to us to be health food, and we believe it. That's the problem. Let's figure out how to really solve this. I think we jumped in with naive, crazy confidence. We put up a landing page. We thought it would be easy, but it wasn't. When we started, we wanted to make food that has all the right vitamins and minerals for a dog, but made to human food safety standards. But dog food is such a bad word. In the human food world, nobody wanted to work with us. We were cooking the food ourselves, would deliver the food ourselves. I was waking up at 3.30 in the morning. We'd go to the kitchen and we'd be in and out of there, packing up all the orders. It wasn't really clear how we would continue, but that we would continue was always clear. And the two created the Farmer's Dog. The Farmer's Dog. They say it's human tested and dog Launching in late summer 2014. Oh, definitely. And, and Jonathan say they are now shipping more than a million meals a month. We really don't want people to think of feeding food like ours as spoiling their dogs. Good, real food is simple. It looks like food, it smells like food. It's what dogs are supposed to be eating. 
we genuinely hope that more companies will make food like ours. That's part of the mission. No living being should ever eat processed food for every single meal of their life. It's amazing to me how many people write in about their dogs changing for the better. We love our dogs so much, and the farmer's dog is just our way to help people take care of them. It's always for the love of dogs that drives everything we do.